I, I started looking into connecting, I guess, my work with like my ancestors, specifically my great grandmother, Ida de Shields Moore, on my mother's side, um, because. I was, I was really inspired by her story. She was one of the first, she was part of the first class of registered black nurses to graduate in the state of North Carolina in the 1930s. So this was essentially a black woman in the South that graduated with a professional medical degree. Um, and she had to be an Afrofuturist in herself because she came from a, a background of sharecroppers. So um, I think, I guess when I think about ancestry or being a future ancestor, you have to think about a potential that's beyond your current circumstance. How can you push your descendants into a position that they could do the same thing? Um, so sometimes that might mean that we're reimagining ourselves or even our ancestors as these folklore um, deities um, that exist in the now, um, but they also exist in the present and in the past. And, and the, all these people are connected through your DNA. This is how you time travel. This is how you get that knowledge and information from your ancestors. Um, so the, the reimagining concept, it's, for me, it's a, it's a way, it's a form of empowerment. Um, how do we keep people empowered in visions of themselves and recreate internal narratives that maybe society has been kind of abusive with um, and re redirect people to where they're lifted up internally and reclaim their stories.